Hello and welcome to What's Happening. These are the top five stories. At number one, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu Sunday said his administration was keen to make Nigeria self-sufficient in food production and become a net exporter of agricultural products through what he called aggressive mechanization. He affirmed his administration's support to give ease and succor to the 2024 Hajj pilgrims. He revealed this in a session with a delegation from the global Tijaniya movement led by Khalifa Mohammed Manias at the presidential villa in Abuja. He also outlined plans to bolster agricultural productivity through various initiatives, including the expansion of farmlands, the provision of low interest loans to farmers, and significant investments in irrigation infrastructure. Tinubu highlighted the need for collaboration between political and spiritual leaders to advance the nation's interests and promote unity among the people. At number two, Access Holdings has announced that its board will soon make public the replacement of the late group chief executive officer, Herbert Wigwe, who died alongside his wife and son in a chopper crash in California, United States on Friday. Abubakar Jimo, chairman of Access Holdings, disclosed this Sunday in a statement signed by the company's secretary, Sunday Ekwachi, while confirming the deaths of Wigwe, his wife, and his son in the unfortunate crash. Meanwhile, the Nigerian exchange group PLC, NGX Group, has mourned the loss of its former chairman, Bamofi Apimbola Ogumbanjo, and the Access Holdings PLC managing director, Herbert Wigwe, along with his wife and son, in the helicopter accidents in the United States of America. In a group statement issued by the chairman of the NGX group, Umaru Kweranga, he expresses heartfelt condolences. The group MD CEO of NGX group, Temi Kupola, described the passing of Ogumbanjo as a profound loss for the NGX group and the entire Nigerian private sector. At number three, former Emmy of Colonel Mohamed Senussi has stated that it will be unfair for him to criticize President Bola Tinubu over the country's economic hardship. Sanusi, however, blamed the immediate past administration of Muhammad Buhari for its badly managed economic policies. He averred that Buhari's administration ignored his advice on how to take Nigeria out of its economic woes. It's injustice for anyone to blame the Tinubu administration for the current economic hardship because there is no other alternative than the removal of the fuel subsidy. After all, Senussi said Nigeria cannot even afford to pay the subsidy. In the last eight years, the Central Bank of Nigeria continued to print more money and the Naira continued to depreciate. He said there's too much Naira in circulation because the CBN is printing the currency without restraint. At number four, Ivory Coast emerged the champions of the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. The hosts came from behind to beat Nigeria 2-1 in Sunday's final. The Super Eagles took the lead through William Troost Ekong's powerful header in the first half. Ekong headed the Super Eagles in front against the run of play at the Stade Olympic Alassane Ouattara in the 38th minute. Frank Kessi rose at the far post to meet Simon Adingra's corner to deservedly level matters in the 61st minute. But Sebastian Haller met with another Adingra cross to superbly flick home the winner in the 81st minute for his most important moment in an Ivory Coast shirt. Meanwhile, captain of the Super Eagles, William Trist Ekong, has been named the best player of the 2023 African Cup of Nations. Trist Ekong scored three goals in the tournament as a led team to a second place finish. South Africa goalkeeper Ronwen Williams won the goalkeeper of the tournament. Equatorial Guinea's Emilio Sue got the top goalscorer award after scoring five goals. Cote d'Ivoire coach Emerson Fair won the coach of the tournament, while South Africa won the Fair Play Award. And at number five, Hungary's president resigned Saturday, February 10th, over a child abuse case pardon. Katalin Novak is a member of the ruling Conservative Party, Fidesz. Novak's decision came after more than a week of public outrage after it was revealed that she issued a presidential pardon in April 2023 to a man convicted of hiding a string of child sexual abuses in a state-run children's home. Novak, who is the first female president in Hungary's history, has unleashed a political scandal 
unprecedented for the country's long-serving nationalist government. Prime Minister Viktor Orban has been accused of dismantling democratic institutions and rigging the media in its favour. And that's all on what's happening. Thanks for watching. <music>